Camille Schreier, Miss America 2020 here and get your lab coats out because today we're going to do some science. Super excited to bring you this at home science experiment that you can try. You probably have plastic in your home. This container is made out of plastic. Plastic is all around us, but plastic is created with scientific principles. Plastics are polymers. They are long chains that are all linked together that line up and form this really cool material that is part of almost everything we do every day. But one of the issues that we have with plastics is the environmental impact. They don't break down, they stay around for a long time, they create pollution. So what if we could make plastics out of things that would break down and degrade? And so today, we are going to be making a biodegradable plastic. I think about the ways that a biodegradable plastic, as it's coming into our world and entering the market, how that might change the entire way that we look at waste, that we look at trash, that we look at containers and how things are packaged. And so we're gonna be making our own biodegradable plastic from cornstarch today that you can do at home. It's safe, it's easy, and it's really fun. Let's get to making some corny plastic. The first thing that you're going to need is regular old cornstarch. You might have some in your house. I've used this as a thickening agent in different recipes, maybe sauces. Cornstarch comes from the seed of the corn plant. And the size and shape of the cornstarch molecules make them act a little bit differently than other plant starches. So I took one tablespoon of cornstarch and put it into this bowl. I picked a glass bowl because I need something that is microwave safe. So don't pick a metal bowl, either pick a glass bowl or a paper cup or a paper bowl, something that you know that you can put in the microwave. So the next thing that you are going to need is a little bit of oil. You can use corn oil or any kind of vegetable oil. I used canola oil and I just have a few drops of canola oil that I'm going to put in my tablespoon of cornstarch. The last thing we need is a tablespoon of water, pour it right in, and then we're gonna stir it up. If you've ever made oobleck, this feels a lot like oobleck. So my cornstarch water and a little bit of oil is all mixed up. The next thing that I need to do is put it in the microwave. So ask an adult, bring this to the microwave and microwave it for 20 seconds. I'll be right back. Well guys, I put it in the microwave and I now have the weirdest corny plastic. It has completely changed from its original form. Mine is a little bit dry, but when you've touched this, it feels exactly like a bouncy ball. So the cornstarch has completely changed form. We have actually created a bioplastic. And when you do this at home and touch it yourself, you will feel that this feels like an eraser. It feels like rubber. It feels like plastic, like a soft plastic. And this is a great representation of how people are using plant materials to make plastics. And the cool thing about this is that corn plastic is able to break down naturally. If this were to be made into a cup, a plate, a bowl, maybe utensils or any type of packaging, this would break down. Instead of polluting, it would break down and go away. Now, bioplastics aren't perfect. There are issues about how they're produced, but I think they're a really great step forward to reducing pollution and waste. And more importantly, making corn plastic is really fun. I have to tell you about how I learned about corn plastic. I was on the phone with my friend, Miss Kentucky, and she was telling me how, although she is a business major in college, that her job as Miss Kentucky is with the agricultural department in her state. And as part of her job as Miss Kentucky, she found herself doing science and agricultural demonstrations. And she asked me if I had ever made corn plastic. And of course, I immediately was like, what is corn plastic? So she sent me the directions on how to make corn plastic. So thank you, Miss Kentucky, for this demonstration. I'm excited to be able to do this and bring it to you. It is now one of my favorites to do, and thanks, Miss Kentucky. I hope that you get to make corn plastic at home. If you do, make sure to tag me in it, at Camille Schreier on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and add at Miss America. 